Welcome to Chellington, everybody. Yep, we're in Chellington, just like everybody else. But we're going to do this a little bit differently. This is the DIY farming series. I'm Zebra, I'm your host, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Well, that's the plan anyway. So we are at the dealership. We own nothing. And I'm just having a peruse. And detail is fantastic as you would expect you know I, I wouldn't expect anything less from oxygen David at all so where to start well we need a farm and I've had a peruse and I've earmarked this one no nope, not that one this one which is down here here it is so this is a cattle and sheep farm I don't want to start in the usual place like everybody else will do I want to start in a different place and this farm is called Autumn Wood Farm as you would have probably guessed from the thumbnail but yes this is going to be our farm this is going to be our home and this is where we're going to have some fun so having a look round we've got a lot of things going on we've got things that we need to sort out we've got a slurry pit we need to sort out our water and everything we need to sort out getting some animals and as you may have noticed we have also decided to start in autumn the reason for this is because you always start in spring and it puts your crops behind when you farm in real life you want to get your crops in as soon as you've taken your crops off and the idea is to get them in as soon as possible weather permitting of course so yeah we're starting in autumn we're going to get crops in but we need to buy fields and things as well and there are fields around us that already have crops in them so this is going to work to our advantage to start off with so first of all let's buy the farm so we've got our 1.7 million that we've brought over from the little norton series and we want to buy autumn wood which is this one and that's going to cost us 115,920 well I haven't got a problem with that that's very cheap indeed so yes thank you very much and then we have fields around us I was thinking 41 so yeah I'm gonna buy that one I'm also thinking 113 or possibly 116 so let's just check and see what they've what they've got thank you for saving very kind of you uh, let's just so 116 has got crop in it and it's oats 41's already got crop in it and that is also oats so I think if we went for 116 and got another round of oats and then went for 43 and possibly 42 then maybe we could turn one of those into another crop field uh, and then use the other one to get some grass off of for our silage and things like that so let's go for 116 yep 43 yep and 42 right now that's our farm taken care of and that's our crop our fields taken care of what's that leave us with well, it leaves us with 1.268 million. So 1 million, uh, 265,000. So now we need to buy some equipment. <clears throat> and as I promised, we're going to have a case and we're going to have a Massey. So the case that we're going to have is the Puma. We're going to buy it second hand. I've got the second hand mod installed. Um, so whatever we do is going to be second hand. We need to keep the cost down as much as possible. B 
because we need to buy a lot of things. I want to get it with the maximum horsepower we can, so that's 270. Um, I love case, absolutely love case. And we can have this in the metallic, and we can have it with the gold stripe or the black. And I think I'm going to go with the black because the gold is a bit, mm, yeah. So that I think, do we need the chrome on the stack? No, we don't need the chrome on the stack. It costs an extra 850. It's not, it's not essential, is it? So, oh, there's the first tractor ball. The second track that we're going to buy is this little Marcy. She's a cute little thing. Uh, and we don't need a big tractor because we've got the Puma. We're going to buy this second hand as well. And we're not going to do any more modifications to it. If we want to, we can upgrade it to 144 horse. But for now, we're going to keep it at 129. I don't think it needs anything else. We're going to put, not a front loader, we're going to put the weights on the front. So that is our Massey board. She looks rough, don't she? It's all right. We can fix her up if we need to. So that's our Massey's done. Now we're going to buy a telehandler. And the request was JCB. And I'm pretty sure everybody was probably thinking of this one. I believe it's by Jack Swift. He may go under a different name in modding. But anyway, this is the one we're going to have. Second hand again. So she's going to look scruffy. But I don't care. It's a farm machine. So there it is. So we've got our three pieces of machinery we also need a combine at some stage but i'm not going to race into buying one of those yet we need to buy something to move the animals with and i've earmarked oh it's not on there this one here we get the Roland second hand again pretty much everything's going to be second hand so if you was hoping to see shiny stuff I'm sorry that's not how it's going to work we're going to be as true and as realistic as we possibly can and we're working with a budget which has gone down to 993,999 pounds so next up what we're we going to need well we've already got crop in we want some we need a mower we need a mower what have i got installed well i've got the McHales installed but i also have the um the maze plus stuff so I think we're going to go with, with that one, second hand, yep, that one, second hand, yep, and we're going to need a windrower. What have we got? What size is that? 3.4. No. Let's go with this one. So this is from the Alpine pack. And we need to be careful that we don't overspend too much because we need to buy animals, remember? 
So I think we're going to go with this for a baler. Um, let's go with let's go with green. So how does this work? We've got standard with bail on end turner, and that's it. What is the cost difference? Two thousand. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Right, so we we've got some we've got some kit there. Uh what next? We need some things to go on. We don't want that one. Silly Seaber, we want this one. Um, and we got the the maxi stuff. We've got the Bressel, which I am a particular fan of. However, I'm also a big fan of the McHale. I think if we go with the five thousand liter, that would be probably sensible. So we'll go with that. Uh, next well actually what else are we going to going to want some pallet forks aren't we so yep and we're going to want a weight for the case what have I got installed Self-made weight, I think we'll go with this, this one, clumpy old thing, main colour, onyx, uh, design, case, splendid, second hand, of course, Um, fertilizer. Ah, we've got the Gaspardo that I installed. How are we doing for money? 843,000. Now, you see, what we could do with the combine is because we use it such little amount of time, is we could just rent it. We could just lease one rather than own one. Which means that we could we could lease an ideal or something big like a big case or something like that. Um, we don't have to worry about its maintenance costs because we're just going to have it for the period of harvest and then send it back. So I think um, we're going to need a plow if we're going to plow up one of those fields. What have we got? Now, bigger than that. Let's just go with. Uh, let's just go with the aggro. Right. Next. Next, we need. We'll need some bale spikes actually thinking about it no I should have hmm I should have the
See, all that is for front loader. That is for wheel loader. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll um, we'll get all our machinery that we've got so far back to the farm, and then we'll go from there. That massive looks rough, doesn't it? So, I thought we'd lost the JCB, but it's managed to catch up, and I'm sure it's going to have trouble getting in. It also turns out that the McHale bucket doesn't fit on that JCB, so I'm going to have to rethink that situation. But, this case, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to turn this off, turn you off. This case. Can you hear it? Can you hear that? Listen to this. That's awesome. Awesome. Anyway, enough of that playing. We'll get to play around with it a lot more. Uh, let's uh, let's get some equipment off, and then we'll get back and we'll sort a few things out. So we're just coming through the village now, and I just realised that rather than turn right at the roundabout earlier, I could have just gone straight on. But anyway, it got us to see a few bits and pieces going on, didn't it? So. Here is the roundabout, we're going to cross the roundabout and then down to the dealers. If you were paying attention when we came through, we have a massive circus with a vintage, um, what's that, crane, a fire truck, a tractor on spline going around the field, various other things. We've also got the um, speed cameras we've got roads going off all over the place uh, and there's there's lots going on here there's lots going on here um, <clears throat> I've not looked at everything yet so it's going to be pretty much the same as with Little Norton we'll, we'll find a job to tide us over somewhere in a different area and we'll go and explore but we're going to spin around just here. Everybody should be with us. Excellent. In fact, we'll turn you off. We'll turn you off. And we'll turn you off just to make it a bit quieter. Right, now the bucket has to go because the bucket doesn't fit. So into the garage we go. 
I'm just going to sell it straight off the bat. We're going to lose a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we don't really have the time. Oh, we didn't lose anything. We got all our money back. So, shall we go? Should we give the, um, the Bressel a chance? This is the one that we had on the Merlot. I think I want as much as we can get in it. Second hand reinforcements. No, we don't want those. They get bunged up with dirt. Telehandler. JCB. New Holland. Telehandler. Well, we'll go with JCB. Uh, we had the green. No, we don't want the orange. Do we have the black? Should we stick with the grey? Oh, fact. Let's have fact. Okie dokie. Let's pray that this fits on the front of this JCB. And if it doesn't, I might cry a little. Honey. What's the deal with this JCB then? Hmm. Well, that's very sad, isn't it? like we're going to have to stick with the maxi stuff then. Not to worry. I'll do some investigation work and see if we can find another solution to this situation. But for now, we'll stick with the maxi stuff. Um, it looks good, all scruffy anyway. What's the best? This doesn't fit now. Oh, it does. We'll leave the forks there for now, or the spikes, I should say, there for now. Right, and what do what else do we need to get? Um, I'm not too interested in hay at this precise moment. I primarily want to get silage to start us off. Um, let's uh, let's load the plow up onto a magnificent case. You lot shouldn't have asked me to get a case because that's all you're going to get now is me going on about this thing. It's your own fault. Splendid. Lift you up. I may need to put a trailer on that JCB, so we'll just hold fire for a second. What? Because I can't put the wind rower on it. So the Massey is pretty massy at the end of the day. 
It's, uh, it's actually an okay mod, to be fair. It's not the greatest. Um, but it is... It is nice. We don't need to connect anything up. I think it's done it all by itself anyway. We need a lift? Yeah. Uh, oh, I tell you what we're going to need. We're going to need a bail trainer. So, bail trailer. What do we have? Oh, that's what I wanted, wasn't it? The V grab. I bet it doesn't fit on that JCP anyway. Okay, so we're going to go with. Round bales, aren't we? Because that's what that. Pottinger does, isn't it? Let's double check. Now, why on earth does it not say there what bale it does? I'm just going to presume that it does brown bales. Um, so we're going to have the round bale. That was quite interesting, wasn't it? Giants physics again, perhaps? Thanks very much, Giants. Good for you. <laughs> uh, those ones. Second hand. Auto load, nope, because that's not very realistic. It's for cheaters. Wide tires, because we know what trailers are like. No, 24. Yep. Yep. Okay. And out. That's interesting. How am I the right way up inside the. Uh, uh, I must be broken. I got the JCB. Or right or wrong, Massey. Oop. Nearly took out. Dude. Why are you cleaning the floor? Just there. Ridiculous. There we go. Doesn't matter about scratching the paintwork, it's scratched enough as it is. Right. I shall get this look back to our farm. And I think. From here, we're almost we're almost okay for stuff. We'll buy some more as we're going. My first plan of action is to get some animals. Actually, we don't like that, does it? So yeah, uh, I'll get this back to the farm and all sorted out, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so finally, this is hopefully the last trip for today. Uh, we're going to get, we've already got uh, the feed mixer there, which is the Roland, which I bought. And... Seaber, what are you doing? Uh, we're going to have the McHale straw blower. Lovely job. Um, back. And that really is uh, everything. That is everything for today. So we can 
jump into we jump into the case. If we drive the case back ourselves, we can stick this on the front. A bit, it's a bit much, but it gets it there, doesn't it? And then we'll stick that on the back because it, I think, will be a better job doing it that way. So we'll just spin her around, and then we'll put the rower on the back of the Mercedes on the Massey. Some people might say it was the Mercedes of tractors, but uh, I think Mercedes would disagree seeing as how they have one themselves. Uh, so, yeah, we'll put this on here. And like I said, uh, anything that we do need to get, then we'll just get it, so long as we have the money. We've got a fair amount of cash now. And we're going to save a fair amount of cash from not buying a combo. It's going to save us a lot of money doing it this way, I think. Um, now, essentially what I want to do with the episode, with episode, with the series, is I want to... Uh, I want to try and keep it, he says, with a straw blower on the front as realistic as we possibly can. I've installed mods which are going to make the experience of the gameplay a lot better. She is really struggling. Oh, she needs a service, that's why. Um, get rude. Mind you, I've seen worse than the speed cameras. <laughs> uh, yeah, as realistic as possible. There's going to be hiccups. There's going to be things that aren't quite realistic and aren't quite right. And that's just because th there's things that you can't do realistically in the game. Also, driving into a speed camera isn't that realistic. But like I said, I've seen worse been done to a speed camera. And I can't actually see where I'm going. And we're only setting the map up for now, anyway. So you know, this uh, this is this is essentially it. We're going to get these bits back. We're going to get cows. Now we're properly stuck. I was expecting something to be behind me then, but there wasn't. Where is the Massey? The Mercedes of trackers. Oh, it is there. So, yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's what we're aiming for. As realistic as possible. Um, none of this realism is key and then just pretending to be some kind of farmer and you haven't got a clue what you're doing. None of this um, realistic experiment stuff. This is Seaburr trying to get the most out of a game. Uh, without role playing it, yeah. I don't. Know. I saw him pull out. It just—it's—it's it's the nature of the driver, isn't it? Tractor. Oh, get out in front of it. Lorry. Oh, get out in front of it. Bus. Oh, get out in front of it. Fools. Um. So yeah. There we there we go with uh, with Challington. Let's get this back. Let's get some cows and some sheep and some stuff. Right, so we're gonna go and buy some cows. And we have a journey. But we're gonna do it <laughs> in this this is gonna I'm gonna try it. Oh, this gate is awful. Right. Yeah, it's not ideal. You'll see why in a second. Because 
it opens inwards. I'm not sure why you would do this. Why would you make it open inwards? There is a likelihood that I may go into uh, Giant's editor and change that. But anyway, uh, so we're going to go buy some cows. I can't remember how many cows we can get into this trailer, but we're going to get whatever we can get into it. Um, so we'll get our first lot in this episode and then tomorrow's episode we'll probably stock up on some more get some sheep and things like that um, every episode will be a new day within the game so if we don't get stuff finished in an episode it will be moved over into the next day of the game um, because I want to keep everything fresh so I will try as hard as I can to get the game time to run according to the episode and as you can see we're just coming up to half past four in the game and I've slowed it right down now because I thought he was coming out because um, yeah I don't want it to get away from us not in this episode anyway um, it's been a bit jumpy uh, jump cutty and bits and pieces that's because I've tried to get in the bits that you're going to be most interested in seeing. Um, obviously, what I've done with this episode is I've put it out as a premiere. So you will be chatting to me in the chat as we're going through live on its release. Um, but every episode after that will come out at 12 o'clock lunchtime, British UK time. GMB, Greenwich Mean Time, GMT, that's it. Um, yeah, so that that's the deal with that. Exactly the same as Little Uh, uh And that's it, really. The, you know, we're going to get the cows, we'll get them back, we'll sort out the water and everything. Um, So yeah, I think we'll get them, and we'll time lapse, taking them back, perhaps, I don't know, we'll do something, you don't want to listen to me rambling on all the time, do you? If you do, fair enough, let me know in the chat. So, how do we open this? We open it with X. Oh, down she goes. Should really be on the outside looking at this. And that all opens up. It's almost like I planned that, isn't it? It's almost like that. It was perfect. And we want cows. So what have we got? We've got Limousine expensive but feed efficient animal meaning it will grow very quickly and get a great price at market Ayrshire low feed consumption and price per head worthy trade-offs for a lower milk production not after the milk So I we'll have a male, pretty much the same as what we did with um, Little Norton, isn't it? And female Ayrshire's, Holstein, we don't want them do we? Let's go Holstein, no, nope, because that's a male, oh Holstein is female, yeah, so no we don't want that, Holstein. Oh, that doesn't hold very many, does it? Five cows. So we've got one male, four females. Confirm. Fold it all up. And we'll get our moo moos back. 
and actually that's where I'm going to, I'm going to come back and get another load so I'll time lapse this down Right then, so we now have 10 cows in total, one bull and nine ladies and we do need silage and stuff like that for them but um, I'm not going to do that in this episode so we're going to play it over to the next day. They'll be all night. They'll be all right overnight anyway. Um, they've got the grass in the field to munch on. We'll have to get some straw for them, and we'll have to buy that anyway because there's no way that we can we can create that not yet anyway. So we'll open her up. I love the animation on this. I think it's great. It's a shame that we can't watch the cows actually come out. Oh, I'm trying to move them from the wrong side. Silly me. Confirm. There we go. So we'll close that back up. Pull that forward. We're going to leave it attached because uh, in the next episode we're going to get some sheep for our sheep field. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure if this is something or maybe I could place chickens in there. I'm guessing it's something to do with calves. I'm guessing it's something to do with the, the carving thing that they had on Sandy Bay. But I'm not sure whether it can be brought into play here yet. I'll have to do some investigation work. But yeah, that is essentially it for this episode, my lovely, lovely people. Um, as we've premiered this one, uh, everybody should have chatted, hopefully, in the chat. We'll just have a quick look around what we've got. So we've got the, the Roland feeder there, the straw blower by McHale, the Roland animal trailer which we've just used and the Massey Ferguson we've got the Pottinger um, is, is it it's the Nova Nova cat is it yeah Nova cat uh, the Pottinger impress baler and wrapper uh, I wonder if it's as good as the Vicon uh, the wind rower by Pottinger And then we've got the Gaspardo spreader. 
the basic vanilla uh, agro, isn't it? Yeah, agro mouse plow, the magsy bucket and forks, the Roland bale trailer for round bales, just parked up in there. We've got a beautiful case which needs servicing, as does everything else. So really we need to get a jet wash to clean everything off because the windows are filthy. Um, we need, um, because I've noticed, we don't have uh, a workshop. Because these don't open, which is a bit disappointing because it's a waste of space. You could have turned that into a nice big workshop. But anyway, I think we'll stick the workshop zone in here, possibly. Maybe. Or somewhere easy to access. Not really there. That wouldn't work, would it? Got a... Hmm, what could we put here? Manure? Silage? I'd say that's a manure pile there. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe, and may the weather be with you.